Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome back to Through the Lens, Discovering the Life of Birds. I'm Norma Lens. Let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about a dark-eyed junco. Their nickname is Snowbird because uh, they winter here in North Carolina, so they summer up north and then they come back down from North Carolina for winter to stay warm. People say that when the juncos come, that means that snow is coming. But I haven't seen any snow yet, at least not here anyway. But hopefully we'll get some soon. Uh, and uh, here's a picture of one and how to identify it. Uh, dark eyed juncos are gray above and white below, and they have a pinkish bill. They're about the size of a sparrow because they are related to sparrows. Um, so that's what they look like. Okay, as you saw, the junco is dark above and light below. So some people say gray skies above, snow below. And that might be another reason they're called a junco. They're ground feeding, so that means they feed on the ground. At the bird feeder, if, you'll sprink if you sprinkle out seed, they'll come to the seed on the ground and peck at it. And if you have a platform feeder or a tray feeder and put seed on that, they'll come to that too. Um, look for the junco's white outer tail feathers in flight. So when they fly, you can see the white tail feathers like a mockingbird, except their juncos are smaller than mockingbirds. Um, people say that when you see one junco, that means there's a whole flock nearby. And it's really true because they travel in flocks because they're, they're uh, a type of sparrow so most sparrows all travel together and if you walk through a field or something and all the jungles all the, sometimes all the jungles will fly off at the same time and it looks really cool um they have a long lifespan they can live to be 11 years old which is pretty old for a bird their size junkers have over 30 percent more feathers um in the winter than they do in the summer so they're getting all nice and cozy up for the winter and then in the summer they'll start molting. The Junko's song is a musical trill and it's pretty rare actually for me to hear one. I don't think I've ever heard this noise but there's what they make. Yeah so they make a little trill and sometimes they'll chirp I mean, which is what I've mostly heard, little twitters and chirps. Um, so, and they can look different from their, the, their ranges, they look different. Um, so here's more about that. Dark Eye Jumpco subspecies, they have up to 15 different subspecies, but they're divided into five major groups. Slate-colored, white-winged, Oregon, pink-sided, gray-headed. Um, here's some information from All About Birds, and it says, In general, there are two widespread forms of the dark-eyed junco, slate-colored junco of the eastern United States, so that North Carolina, and most of Canada, which is smooth gray above, and the Oregon junco found across much of the western U.S. with a dark hood, warm brown back, and rufous flanks. Other more restrictive variations include the slate-colored, like white-winged, and the organ-like, pink-sided juncos of the Rockies and western Great Plains, and the yellow-eyed junco, like red-backed and gray-headed juncos of the Southwest. So there's a lot of diversity there. Okay, um, I think that's it for the junco. And I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your week. Bye. Song. Their song is a musical trill. Oh no, not again. Thanks for watching Through the Lens, Discovering the Life of Birds. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to visit our website, birdbuddiesgso.com. See you next time.